Hi, I'm Ethan. Nice to meet you again. Hello, this is Vincent from Team Attack. Okay, so today uh, it's my pleasure to, in to introduce ourselves uh, in some in the program to the show. Um, so hi Vincent. Hi. I think that's the first time we uh, from this partnership to yes. make a video for our audience. Yes. So big news. Big iPhone news. 12. Nice. Uh, officially, has been officially launched. announced. Yeah, launched mm -hmm. uh, two days ago. Okay. Um, more important, what's relevant to GMI tech and to mini media web technology? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's mini media web version mm -hmm. uh, for North America. Okay. Right. So that's a big news to the industry. Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, Today let's talk about something. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah. So we have been talking about lots about uh, the millimeter wave. So I just want to know what is the topic today, like the frequency conversion or other other topics. All right. So yeah, since we talk about the millimeter wave, um, that's one thing is very important in the communication industry is that we need to uh, move the spectrum. In between lower frequency and high frequency, okay. so that's very essential operation in all the communication systems. Mm -hmm. So whatever all the data or the, the process it has been happened in basement, mm -hmm. but whenever we talk about it, we transmit wirelessly over the air, we really need to move the spectrum to a higher frequency band. Okay. So how we use the energy and to transmit the energy through antenna mm -hmm. to be more efficient. So very, that's very basic principle of why we need to up and down convert frequencies. Okay. Uh, so I have a prepared a chart to All right. show you how it works. You can see that's a very engineering mm -hmm. uh, diagram. The circuit represents how frequency has been up and down converted through the symbol with the arrow in a circle. That's the mixer. It's really a central part of frequency converter. From the left side, you can see this down conversion. The frequency has been down converted from RF band to IF. So then we can process, we can sample in the IF signal and feed the signal into a basement processor. In the right side, it's up conversion. The direction is, is upside, it's from IF to RF. In our case, uh, IF is something like a 2 to 3 gigahertz signals. And millimeter wave, of course, we have a couple of bands. Uh, I believe that the first support in iPhone 12 is, is around 28 gigahertz. Okay. Uh, that, that's a very popular uh, FR2 band. Okay. So I think uh, our topic today is like, it's about uh, up and down convert conversion okay. uh, in signal processing. All right. So it seems like between IF and RF, there's a big gap that we need to bridge, or otherwise we cannot work between the sub six gigahertz and the millimeter. Wave. Right. Okay. So today you have a, a solution for us to to deal with it. Yeah, of course, here you go. This is TMI tag, UD box. It stands for up down. So UD box exactly works as like what you mentioned now. So from the front panel, it maps to the circuit diagram I showed you all the years This one is IF1 and that's RF1. So these two ports are really forms an up down conversion set. So that's step number one. And here exactly step is IF2 and RF2. Okay. So we have to set to what we call it two channel. So that's exactly UD box dual channel mm -hmm. version. That's a very special design of the converter Okay. That's one question. So we have two channels here. Right. Well, we can do up and down conversion in the single box. Exactly. And that's how it works because um, we designed your channel at the beginning to fulfill most okay. of our communication experiment setup. That means you can do transmitter and do receiver one box. So you can do up and down in one box. Since yeah, many people are working on 
for example, on 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz. Right. Is it covered by the Unibox? Yeah, exactly. Um, as we know, mini midwave FR2, mm -hmm. it covers from something in between 26 to uh, 39, or even higher a little bit. So uh, mm -hmm. we designed the device to be a, a broadband device mm -hmm. at the beginning. Okay. So th this one supports uh, 28 or 39 gigahertz, mm. and the down conversion mm -hmm. uh, for 28 gigahertz, you can down down convert to like a one or two gigahertz. Okay. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. So yes, the device has been designed for broadband mm -hmm. uh, application. We have two channels here. Do we have also one channel or like single single channel? Yeah. We also have a single channel version, and that one is designed for field trial or longer distance experiment setup. That means some um, where we use two single channel devices mm -hmm. um, with two sets of RF front end and two sets of basement. We can do a communication uh, experiment far away in between TX and RX. So the distance in between transmitter and receiver can be as long as like a 10 meter, 20 meters, or 30 meters. So in that case, we can really just simulate the real case. We can simulate the space station here. And another one is we can simulate the UV. Yeah, that's great. So since we have two, we have single single channel version, right? And there will be two different UV box. Mm -hmm. So these two sets it needs to be synchronized. Yeah. So in most of communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, in real world communication, actually, the clock is, has not been synchronized yet. Okay. Yeah, we call it uh, incoherent mm -hmm. uh, transmission. But um, uh, yes, we do have a synchronization uh, capability on our device. Okay. It's just in case, in some scenario, you need to sync in between uh, uh, TX and RX side. Okay. So how it works? The back panel, as you can see, this connector we provide a 10 megahertz synchronization signal. Okay. And this one we offer 100 megahertz signal. So with the two, these two signals, we can synchronize either with instrumentation or with the 100 megahertz. Mm -hmm. We can syn synchronize in between different boxes. So that would be a very useful feature for mm -hmm. sort of test cases. This one is uh, easy. For supply, and that's a power button. And um, here we go. There's another port. So the, the first one, upper side, this one is Ethernet. Okay. We used to connect to our PC or laptop. So okay. we can control the box if the cable. Mm -hmm. And here there is a uh, 5 and the 9 volt output voltage. So, uh, like I mentioned, this is a very broadband device. Okay. So, to optimize uh, some uh, features or uh, the performance mm -hmm. for some band. Usually, you, you will need uh, band pass filters mm -hmm. or amplify mm -hmm. to enhance the, the signal quality. Oh. So, yeah, so in, in that case, actually, we already consider about that. That's very broadband, that's good. Mm -hmm. But we also provide the necessary accessories. Mm -hmm. So, it's optional. Okay. So, that it, it will meet your target frequency band okay. for certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. for, for example, if you are really interested in um, like a 28 gigahertz, mm -hmm. then probably you, you can purchase some other mm -hmm. accessories on this to optimize the performance. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Right. So actually, I, I'm just curious about how we can control the UDI box from our PC. Use cable to connect to in between the yeah. UDI box mm -hmm. and the PC. That's the first step. Okay. Uh, then you, you will be able to install mm -hmm. our software package, TMX Lab Kit. Mm -hmm. So when you install Lab Kit, mm -hmm. you can easily control the block through GUI. What's all about the UD box is to convert in between IF and RF. So the very first step for the GUI is you, it will ask you to input what's your target RF. For example, you can put in Gigahertz. And what's your your, your target IF? There was some frequency meet your uh, SDR or your, your other instrumentation. Okay. So let's say if we put it into two gigahertz. Uh, if the SDR generates two gigahertz. Two gigahertz. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then press the next step. So you will see the necessary local oscillator. Uh -huh. 
yeah, has been calculated. Okay. And then they, they, when you press save, mm -hmm. all the setup will go through the command into the box and you mm -hmm. set up the frequency um, in your, based on your configuration. Okay. So what I need to do is only setting the arc frequency and IO frequency. Yeah. And okay. then everything just happens. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we hope that tool can help conduct your experiment. In this thing. So other than GUI, do you also have, for example, API? Yeah. As we know, so in many labs or for most of R and D purpose, mm -hmm. many people want to control device through other language, other environment, or even they want to integrate with uh, many other instrumentation. Okay. So of course, yes, we provide API. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And the API supports like very popular language like Python uh -huh. or Visual Studio, okay. C Sharp. Okay. Yeah. So even MATLAB. That's mm -hmm. one. And oh. That, and that view, of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's awesome. Yeah. So pretty much we think about all the scenarios. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you for your explanation today. Yeah. yeah that's like super clear for me. Okay. To know how it works. Yeah. I mm -hmm. hope that it helps. Great. So yeah. I think that's 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 it. Yeah, it's like maybe it's good. It's yeah, good. maybe we can talk more mm -hmm. about okay, see you next time. Sure. See you next time. Okay, see you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.